All right, guys. So uh, welcome to a uh, new topic here. Today uh, we'll be learning how to uh, deploy resources using uh, templates under Resource Manager. All right. So currently we have a new feature. It's called uh, okay. It's called uh, deploying resources from a template. Okay. So log on to the, your uh, subscription. Search for uh, some search for uh, templates. Or browse for templates right which is in, in preview and from the list of templates we can select or you can click on add okay and add your template and once the template is added you can click on deploy right so we will do the same lab now all right so if I click on uh, I've already logged on to the portal okay I click on uh, uh, more services and I type templates okay so currently I don't have any templates I'll uh, go ahead and click on new add so, um, so it's asking for uh, a general information all right I'm gonna say as my first template all right so this is my uh, first of deployment template for testing all right so click on ok now click on ARM template here this is the default information it is giving you can add your own uh, information okay it can be any kind of a code it can be a PowerShell or it can be uh, if, I, if I go back here uh, to the documentation all right so So it supports uh, various uh, like .NET, like JSON templates you can have, okay? So, um, all right, if I quickly, yeah, so create templates, okay? So template sections. So the templates format, it can be a JSON, okay? So let's say, um, I'll take a small example of uh, any uh, JSON. So this is a one more JSON, uh, template for uh, resources okay so if I go to the uh, Azure quick start templates where you can find uh, the available templates here okay so these are all the available templates deploy open via uh, access server VM scale set okay Azure container engine Junkies. So, so it's um, if you look at the, the URL here, so it's uh, azure.microsoft.com uh, resources for forward slash templates. You can have all templates, okay? You can either uh, search or um, So it says deploy to Azure. So click on deploy to Azure. So it's automatically uh, picking up the uh, the template. Okay. Loading. So it's asking for all this information. So OMS Azure uh, VM Inventory Solution. So, so this is how you'll be using the uh, the templates, deploy templates. So if you want to create, you can create, you can add your own code. Let me quickly uh, find out uh, any uh, code, uh, a simple code. 
let's say in this case uh, yeah probably i think i can uh, okay i'll uh, copy this one and i'll uh, paste it here click on okay it says error uh, is not valid here probably this is uh, not a complete uh, template Yeah, this should be the complete one. Let's try this one. This is also giving in a lot of errors. Okay, best practices. So templates. find any template here so yeah I'll uh, it's okay click on okay here it says validating giving an error um, I'll uh, discard gonna discard click on add let's do one thing so I'll go for this okay so now we have a default template okay it's saving the template click on refresh so this is my first template if i click on uh, the template we have a, a deploy button here okay so click on deploy the template currently we don't have any resources but if you want you can yeah you need to add all that okay so this is where you will be using uh, the direct uh, JSON templates to create any resources. All that information is here, uh, Azure portal. Previously, we used to uh, deploy using PowerShell and Azure CLI. Now it's directly from the portal. Okay. Yeah. So this is about the uh, uh, the templates. And if you look at the uh, the templates. Um, it's it's still in uh, a preview mode, but however, you can go ahead and use it. All right. So thanks, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, uh, Azure uh, updates.